This morning, we are continuing our post-debate coverage with our series Three Meals. Each week until the election, we're hitting the road in different states to break bread with voters and ask what issues really matter to them. This week, we visit a state at the center of both campaigns' roadmap to the White House, Michigan. Our new CBS News poll shows Vice President Harris with a one-point edge over former President Trump, who won Michigan in 2016 before it went blue in 2020. Major Garrett traveled there to ask what's on people's minds. Near the middle of politically divided Michigan is Saginaw, Michigan's only boomerang county that backed Obama, then Trump, then Biden. Boarded up buildings and this shuttered train station may make things around here look forgotten. But we can say this with certainty, national candidates have not forgotten Saginaw. We fueled up for breakfast at Levi's Food and Spirits on these big pancakes and four egg omelets. Enjoy. Jill Adams is a server here. How are we doing over here? For this election, would you say your mind is made up? Yes. And that is? Trump. Okay. Are you a previous Trump supporter? The first year he won in 2016, I was not. Did you vote for Hillary? I did vote for Hillary, okay. but I cried when she did not win. Okay. Then what happened? And then I just felt like he did a good job. I like the fact that he was not a politician. You believe you were better off four years ago? Oh, absolutely. Small business owner Andrew Singrati backs Trump, too. Before Harris stepped in, I, I thought it, it was going to be like almost a slam dunk. Now I'm not so sure. Retiree John Brady is backing Vice President Harris. I worry that fear is going to drive people to vote for somebody who's going to use that fear to take away other people's freedoms. The abortion rights thing is obviously a big issue, and one of the clearest examples of a loss of major freedoms for women in this country. Would you say Harris excites you in any way? I like her optimism. She reflects more of what I see. For lunch, we drove south toward Detroit, stopping in Dearborn at Sahara, a Lebanese restaurant owned for the past quarter century by Sam Hamoud's family. What is your most popular set of items on the menu? Shawarma. We go through a lot of shawarma. Nearby, we found next door neighbors Rachel Knight and Diane Sikora, who recently retired. I knew I had enough to make things last the rest of my life. Now I'm kind of questioning it, if I should uh, maybe go back to work part time. Both friends are backing Trump. I don't like him as a person, I'll admit it. But I think he's the best thing for the country. How will you feel if Trump doesn't win, Diane? Petrified. Petrified? Petrified. Of, of what may be happening? All the illegals coming through, they're gonna make it up here to Michigan. What is going on at the border scares me to death. Mm. I, I, I just hold my breath every day hoping that somebody that I love doesn't get hurt. Really? You think about it that much? Yes. Dearborn, the hometown of Ford Motors, is also home to a lot of immigrants, the largest city with the majority Arab American population anywhere in the country. Many, like Mike Ayub, lean Democrat, but have broken with the Biden administration over the war in Gaza. And for this community, there really is no other issue right now. The Arab American community, it's a one issue and one issue ahead. Do you think they'll sit out the election? There's a very good chance. Oh, absolutely. I, I'm considering setting it out. Next, we're headed right outside the state capital of Lansing to Eaton County. Eaton County, you see, is a swing county in a swing state. You see, Obama won Eaton County twice. So did Trump. But Trump's 2020 margin was less than 1%. And when I say less than 1%, I mean 499 votes. Eaton Place is the place to eat here. Major Garrett with CBS. Terry Davis. Hey, Terry, how are you? When we stopped by, these guys on the wall weren't talking, but these two college roommates were. He's my best friend. Right, right. So we're on the same page. Right. Retired nurse Paul Mudry is a Reagan Democrat who backs Vice President Harris. There's this idea, and you can certainly hear it in Washington, uh, there's all this excitement for Harris, she's raising all this money, all these volunteers, it's in the bag. Does it feel no, in no, the bag? No, 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 it does not feel not in, in the bag. bag. 
Yeah, no, I'm worried the bag's got a big hole in it. <laughs> really? Yeah, I think there's a rat eating down at the bottom. Sloan Davis is part of the Harris Coalition, but half-heartedly. I'll vote for Harris. Yeah. Sounds kind of meh, though. I'm a pretty passionate person, and I'm not passionate about either of them. The middle school counselor makes ends meet by helping cook burgers here in her parents' restaurant. But Davis says her vote also is about something more personal. Well, I am getting married this year. Okay, congratulations. Thank you to a woman. And of course, there is always that burning question in the back of your head, like what if? Because I don't want that right to be taken away. And like many we met in Michigan, she yearns for a brighter future. Even if the person I vote for doesn't win, I do believe in tomorrow. So that's what I'm hopeful for. And Major wow. joins us now. Uh, Major, what did you learn from the voters in Michigan? And did last night's debate reflect some of those issues? We'll get to the debate in a second. So I talked to 20 voters. Not one of them was undecided. Wow. Not mm. one. Not one. Mm -hmm. And headlines come and go. But let me tell you this. Support for former President Trump is real and resilient. Mm -hmm. I encountered that everywhere I went. And that's something the Harris campaign knows, recognizes. It's a fact in Michigan. Top Democrats in Michigan tell me that they expect the margin in this election could be as tight as 50,000 votes. Wow. Biden won Michigan by 150,000 votes. So let's dig a little deeper. I was in Dearborn, just outside of Detroit. Population about 110,000. Roughly a third of that is Arab American. That's 30,000 votes, possibly. If the margin is 50,000 and some significant portion of them, as Mike Ayub I talked to said, sit this election out. Yeah. That's a big deal. Yeah. And the Gaza war is of significant importance to that community. Yeah. Many people I talked to said they have friends, relatives who are suffering. They think about it every single day. Something to keep an eye on. And As for the vote, debate, yeah. I don't know how much that issue was addressed in Dearborn last night. Yeah. It was a little bit. The broader spectrum of issues, those two women we also talked to in Dearborn, constantly worried about immigration. I know Trump went down some very seemingly ridiculous rabbit, rabbit holes yeah. about cats and everything else. Yep. But that doesn't mean they don't still care about immigration and will not still continue to back Trump. Well, you say when the, when the election is this close, every vote matters, everything. That's, I like, that's why they say voting, when not voting is voting. Yeah, but I like the lady who just said, even if the person I like doesn't win, I still want, I still have hope I want the country it, to be It's okay. a great piece and, and Saginaw Island and, and Simon and Garfunkel's way to start it. I mean, I just love this country and how different everybody is. Just down the road, different food, different ideas. Yeah. And you had four meals, not three. I'm gonna <laughs> yeah, try that. We, we count, we <laughs> and I count. get to do one of these. Major, thank you very much.